Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, namaste, hajime mashde, ni hao, assalamu alaikum. Everybody out there on the internet, welcome to Chan with Tekken for January 2021, New Year. Happy New Year. Um, I mean, in the in the first month of the year. Whatever. I, I, get, <laughs> I record these at the end of the month, so it's like, this wasn't going to be at the beginning of the month, so whatever. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, Chan with Tekken, if you don't know, it's basically three main things I talk about. So we've got videos I'm working on videos I'm working on <laughs> for the channel, change the stuff on the channel, IRL stuff, which is in real life, uh, and then under videos I'm working on, there's subcategories, playthroughs and streams, vlogs, DIY, do-it-yourself stuff, how-tos and other stuff I might be making for the channel. Uh, the other two categories don't have subcategories because they're things that happened or didn't with anecdotes and aside sprinkled in. And yes, I'm back to going off on my phone and all my my uh, thingy here so I can just like stay on stay on track <laughs> not just like just get like derailed it's, it can still happen because you know that's just that's just the way it goes when I when I do these but uh yeah videos I'm working on so um I just did my favorite games of 2020 that was yesterday so it's already up on the channel check that out um basically you know Ghost of Tsushima my favorite game of last year and then Final Fantasy 7 Remake was really like the only one that was like up there in my opinion I mean, the thing about that is, like, you know, Ghost of Tsushima is open world, and then, like, everything, there's, like, a lot of other games I like that were open world, but they weren't, like, as good or didn't come close, so I, I felt like it didn't make sense to be, like, alright, I have, like, five games that I liked, and they're so similar, but it's, like, Tsushima is, like, so above everything else that, like, it's, like, why even, like, have them in contention when they're not as, I mean, they're good, but they're not as good, like, they're the gulf there of quality is, like, you know, so large of, like, you know, it's, like, you know, I feel like it eliminates the other games here because they're just not as good as Tsushima. They're still good in their own right, but they're not just, oh, so amazing, spectacular, outstanding, whatever adjective you want to say, but, you know, that, like, puts them above good and, like, they're just great and beyond. So, yeah. But, um, basically it was like that and, and like, 7 Remake was just outstanding as well. Um... But yeah, Resident Evil 3, I feel like Resident Evil 2 Remake, I, I enjoyed that more. 3 was good, but, like, it didn't, it's like, I, if you look at Resident Evil 2 Remake, you know, and, like, why is that one so good? And, like, you know, compare that with the original, and you do the same thing with 3, it's like, I feel like 3, there were too many cuts or too many things that weren't in there. And then I feel like the addition of the, um, that, like, standalone multiplayer mode that they had in there like I feel like you know if that like why is that even in the game like I, I feel like all resources in that <laughs> should have just been like scrapped and just like put into like making the single player better or just like more single player stuff because like you don't even get the clock tower scene like that's that is like iconic like Resident Evil 3 dude is like the, the clock tower and like what goes down and just that not that's not there it's like I can't I, I can't get on board that I'm sorry like it's still a good game it's just no, it's just not as good as a remake, as in my opinion, as two was. Like two is stellar. Um, I mean, that might also be like a bit of personal bias, because like two was like one of my favorites of all time. Well, like before the remake, anyway, it was like one of my favorite original games. And then like you know, three, I always had like <laughs> three was hard for me, so it's like <laughs> I always had issues with that game, and I could never really get through it until the remake. So maybe that that might also be why too. But whatever. Anyway, um, then like Last of Us Part Two is good as well, but I feel like it's got some, like, you know, quasi-open world qualities about it, but it, uh, it, it, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not about, like, the open worldness of that game, like, I feel like that makes it better being an open world game, but when you get into, like, the whole, like, survival, you know, uh, like, apocalyptic aspects of it, it's as, it's, like, it's still good, it just doesn't, it doesn't really, I feel like, you know, go beyond what was in the first game as far as just, uh, like, you you know, you, like you're going through the Seattle or the city, or most, most of it's in Seattle, so it's like, you know, you're in Seattle, going through there, and like, you know, room to room, clicker clickers, humans, humans, survivors, combat, conflict. I mean, it's, it's good, but it just, I had, I had a lot of issues with the story as, I mean, I didn't have a lot of issues with the story. It's like, the story's okay. It's just, I felt like it was predictable a and then b um like there's pacing issues in my opinion like there's like you get these flashbacks but they 
they don't really have impact because I feel like like the sequence of events in that game is like something happens at the beginning and it kind of in my opinion it just like uh it takes away from like all the impact it's trying to like it's trying it's trying to like put in there with like what it's showing you because it's like okay well, this has happened but what does this really matter for like what is already what you what have already what have already gone through and it's kind of like weird the way it, yeah it's just it's just I just didn't, I did not agree with the pacing and then also like some stuff goes down at the end I kind of I disagree with them just like mm. I mean I'm not it's like you know I didn't disagree with the ending I just felt like it could have went either way and so I feel like they kind of copped out <laughs> on the ending because it's it felt very um like what was even the point at that point when you get there and it's like what what I, I just I just disagreed like I could see like I could see like how that could happen but it's like or how that went down but I can I just disagree with like how that like I just disagree with that ending I just like, no <laughs> it's like that it's like you went through all of this and then you didn't it's like what like what was even the point like that third the third chapter dude like I mean was that the third chapter I'm trying to think or third act basically yeah there's the yeah i'm trying to like try to see, think how i can like say this without spoiling it but like you know you have you have like your last adventure and then you get to the end and then you don't get to make a choice it's made for you because it's you know that's that's i guess just the way the developers wanted to tell the story but i just didn't feel like that was the way it was, it should have went so and it felt very like what was even the point of that <laughs> and i was like what it, but yeah and then like there's like a there's like a sequel hook and it's like that's kind of unnecessary like what like what are you trying to, to build here it's like just very feels very inconsistent and like not cohesive but whatever um what else did i not give top five um dark pictures anthology little hope it it was good but it's just it's just not in that it's not in that stratosphere of like you know those like games I would just like blindly recommend to people because I just enjoyed them so much like I like it was good but it wasn't you know it, it's like wasn't like like coming from like Man and Medan and Until Dawn it's not like you know what does this do to the previous two games that's just like above and beyond that's just like oh man so amazing compared to the last two I could I can't believe they did that <laughs> so yeah it's, it's funny because I said I was like you know following this and now I'm getting completely off of the thing but whatever um so yeah that's Resident Evil, Last of Us, Little Hope. Cyberpunk I snowed just because it's like that was completely unacceptable. Like the quality of the game was when it launched, so it's like that's it's not even up for discussion. Like that was completely inexcusable. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm not even I'm just gonna say Cyberpunk was in contention, but eh, you know, failure to execute. I had thirty crashes on my playthrough alone, so and then like every time I go back to play, I haven't played it since the last patch that apparently also broke the game, but then they hot fixed it, so I'm not even sure if it if it still crashes, so I, I would like to play it again, because if it stopped crashing, I can finally play it on the channel. That'd be great. Um, Miles Morales was good. Miles Morales is not a bad game. Miles Morales is actually a really good game, but Tsushima is like, you know, they're in the same genre, so it's like, I feel like Tsushima, like I said, like Tsushima is just like that much better, dude. And like, like Spider-Man is good. It's even, I mean, dare I say great. It's just, it's just, it's not, it's not nearly, it's not even close to Tsushima. Like, Tsushima is just, ah, one of the all-time greats, in my opinion. Just the pacing, the, like, amount of game that's actually in the game, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> but just, like, you know, there's not, there's not too much, there's not too little, I would say. I wouldn't say there's too little in Mars Morales, but it's, like, it feels very small. Like, you play that game, and it's, like, there's, there's enough, there's enough, I would say. There's enough content in there. It's just... It's it's easily easily consumable, like to just like do everything, and then you know be done with it in a very short amount of time. Not that that's a bad thing. That's just an observation. So it's it it doesn't leave you like wanting more. I mean, you do feel satisfied, but like when you when I've played other games that year, like Tsushima, that like basically did the same thing. Because I would say like M Miles Morales feels small, but Tsushima is my opinion like the, the Goldilocks standard of like an open world game of like not too much not too little and it just like nailed it so then like ha going from that to, to the Spider-Man or Miles Morales rather not to confuse it with the uh Peter Parker game but like going to like you know Miles Morales and it's like you know there's there's content there but you burn through it all and then it's like you know 
I've played Ghost of Tsushima, and there was, like, way more there. And it didn't, you know, out outlast its welcome. So, you know, it was also a... I burned through all of it, but I felt super satisfied. But there was more, and it, like, you know... And it was just as good, or I would say even better. Well, yeah, it was it was definitely better, so it wasn't even, like, a question. And then it had the multiplayer mode, and I didn't even play that, but I hear it's really good, so... I think there's still stuff for me to go back and play, so it's, like... There's, yeah, there was just more and more and more. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's everything as far as like the good stuff. Because <laughs> there's other stuff I played last year that was like, Ooh, and I'm not gonna talk about it because what's even the point? Because it wasn't a contender. So yeah, um, where was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Where was, okay, whatever. I'll just take it from the top. So yeah, videos I'm working on. That was a whole tangent of like. Oh, I remember now because I'm reading the sentence. Just did my favorite games of 2020. Haha, -ha, and I just went on a tangent. Um, so yeah, check that out. I, I don't even think I went as in-depth as I just did like that last five minutes, so whatever. Um, and then right now I'm playing Yakuza, so I started Kiwami. I finished Kiwami. I'm on Kiwami 2. I'm going to start that today. Um, I kind of wanted to like play games in between them, the like palette cleanse, but they're kind of long, so I'll just try to try to bang those out um but then seasonal refreshes of destiny 2 and fall guys are happening this month so uh, i mean i don't think i mean that's the thing with destiny 2 is like i'm not getting sucked into that it's just i'm just playing it to play it because there's stuff to play so it's like i'm not really enjoying it too so it's like i'm still gonna be playing it tuesdays it's just i'm just yeah i'm just i'm whatever dude it's i'm over that game i i regret buying the season's content already um <laughs> but you know, at least I have like a year of game. But oh, what, what, what was it? Wasn't worth it. Um, and then Fall Guys is yeah. I just play that every week for the game night, and then I'm pretty good about getting to the level cap. So once since I'm actually not playing anything, because last time I think Cyberpunk was out during the new season. But since there's like a new season, I mean I'm playing Yakuza, but it's whatever. I'll just stream myself getting through the uh the tiers on this on the season pass since um that's pretty easy. Or it's not, yeah, it, I mean, for me, it's easy. It's like, it's just, it's just a time thing. It's like, you know, just, you get however much fame per, uh, or what is it called? The XP in that game, it's like fame, I believe, right? So, it's like a thousand per, well, it's not a thousand per level, because, like, the lower tiers are easy to get through, right? But then, like, you know, if you're winning and you're doing good, you get, like, more, so. It's just a time thing, I just didn't really, you know, like, last, you know, like, last season, I didn't really stream it too much besides the game night, so. But I would like to blow through that super fast. That way I can just play it on Thursdays. And, um, you know, not, not have it clog up a bunch of time trying to get to the, or not trying to get to level 40. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, besides those, because really I'm, I, I didn't really know what I, what I would be playing after Cyberpunk. So I'm playing Yakuza now. I'm probably not going to be palette cleansing with other games in between them. And I'm just waiting for, like, info on, uh, Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster, so after Yakuza, I think what I'm going to do, if there's still no info on Mass Effect, because, you know, once once that's, like, you know, set in stone, I can have an idea of, like, when to be looking forward to it, and there's not a lot of games coming out this year that I'm looking forward to after Hitman, which I also played, which was really good, I, I was about, I, wow, it's not even, like, in my notes, like, whatever, it's, let me, <laughs> let me circle back around, <laughs> alright, so the thing about, you know, Mass Effect Remaster is, like, once I have a date for that, I can, like, look forward to, like, that coming out and then, like, know for, like, whatever month or whatever that I will be able to, like, play it for the channel and stuff. So that's why I'm waiting for that. And then also it helps because I won't be, like, overextended as far as, like, trying to plan stuff up to that point since right now it's at Yakuza and I'm not really sure what's after that. But if I get through all of Yakuza before that, all that stuff is announced, I'll probably just end up going through my backlog. Um, but putting, like, anything that's, like, an RPG or JRPG at, like, the very end. So I'm just going to like go game by game. And I think I'm going to maybe start with all the PlayStation Plus games that have been coming out because usually there's like a peak in interest once those games are like announced or are released. So, you know, that's I'll probably do that. Um, and then, there, yeah, um, what else? I was saying something about Mass Effect, Backlog. I don't have my notes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hitman. Okay, I was like... I said something about something that's not in here. So Hitman, I played that, I finished it, it's good. Um, 
it's just as good as it's been. I would say all the gushing I saw on Twitter about the story and the narrative, ooh, like I completely disagree. It's like it's, I didn't really like, yeah, I, I, like I didn't see what those people were like, you know, just falling over themselves about. It's basically as good as the, the first two. Very like, you know, I can't even say if it's even like <laughs> improved upon. It's the same formula, so it's it's not like they really changed anything, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's if you if you like the first two, you'll like the third one because it's it's pretty much the same stuff. Um, I mean, there are some cool stuff they do as far as like callbacks to the first two games at like, like later on in the missions. It has, it has like the best mission also, in my opinion, uh, the Apex Predator. I'm not gonna say what happens, but like that whole setup on that mission is like the first time I played it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I loaded up a, another spawn point that you unlock after finishing it. And it was like completely, yeah. Just like after seeing the dynamics of it, it's just like, <laughs> it was, it was oh, so good. So good. Like just easily the best hitman stage of the trilogy in my opinion uh because of the because like the dynamic of that stage is like what you have to do um i'll just say it's very open-ended to not spoil anything on that one uh what else i see i did oh that's the other thing about hitman is like i did kind of want to whenever i played through a game like make a video that week about like what i played and be like i played this game and it's new this week but well here's my thoughts blah 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 to have some sort of like, you know, <laughs> for the record, here are my thoughts on this game after I finished it, quasi-review, but, eh, I mean, I have an idea for something in my brain, I just haven't, you know, I said this last time, I think, it's just, I haven't, I'm in the brainstorming phase, but I still, I haven't really been doing any work to like, make it a thing, so, it's whatever, so, still a concept, I might, uh, I don't know, I might do something about the whole whenever I'm playing something and I finish it and then like do it the thing because I used to um that's like what I used to do for like the comic reviews is just like talk about a game and have like a stock image of like the logo or the or that that cover for like that issue but I might do that because it's like a lot of times I, I play a game and I want to talk about it but then like <laughs> all my po all the podcasts I record like you know kind of kind of uh what would I what was it oh, hmm. kind of on on hiatus <laughs> long term hiatus yeah so uh I might do that just like have the box art talk about it because I, I, I played Maneater too I just thought about it I was supposed to be like scrolling my channel while I did this to like look at like what I did that month or last month rather and then just like look at all the stuff and be like talking about it in this section but I have to have that party so because uh, I never talk about everybody's golf because it's a game night thing I play every week same thing with Destiny and Fall Guys like weekly stuff I, I play that stuff weekly there's some other stuff in here I'm going to talk about later, so I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Complex. I did not I did not enjoy it as much as uh, Late Night. Like, the scenario, I felt, wasn't as good. And then I also felt like the transitions weren't as smooth. Like, Late Night, late, or Late Shift, not Late Night. Late Shift was seamless when you're going through your choices. That one, it kind of, it kind of felt like it was hitching a bit. Just, like, slightly. And then also I felt like when I played it on PS5, as far as um, backwards compatibility, I felt like the frame rate was kind of off a bit to like, you know, it just like looked a bit j jittery, but that could just be me. Uh, da -da 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 -da, and that's everything so far. So, yeah, Yakuza, Hitman, Fair Games last year. Oh, there is the Dungeons and Dragons can't, bleh, bleh, bleh. can't talk. The Dungeons and Dragons campaign, I think I mentioned that like last time or something recently but once we fin finish our current arc of uh the big bad that we're hunting down i will collect into a playlist and then post that because that's been a fun time and it's like there's so many videos like already in the can so that would be nice i mean it's it's said to unlisted but i've only been sharing it with friends so nobody knows besides them <laughs> well, well that well, i talked about it, some people do know but like nobody's been able to listen to it there we go so i'm, I'm looking forward to like putting that out because it's been a fun like, not only has it been a fun time and a fun ride, but it's like, dude, I've got, like, so much more respect for D&D, like, just, like, the, the, like, when you play it, and you can, like, see all the, um, like, the pieces, or the, uh, DNA, there we go, that's, like, in other games I've played, but you just have so much more freedom and uh, agency, and just, you know, choice and all that stuff in that game compared to if you're just, like, playing it, it's so, it's so interesting and weird, because it's, like, you like play it or rather I've been playing it and then like when I go to play like anything else 
it makes me feel like it, it, it just makes it feel very limited like no matter what game it is it's like it could be like the most you know open-ended choice whatever whatever game but it's like I go to play D&D and it's like it just you just have so much more it's so much more open and you have like so much more freedom so you can just like you have like your in- complete imagination open to you and you can just you know at any point think, of, think about like the situation you're in or like the problem that you're facing and like think of like a way to solve it or get through it and it's just it's just wow <laughs> it's, it's just so cool it's like man that's like yeah it's really good it's like the best i will yeah i will say it's the best it's like it's number one for sure because i played it and i was like dude there's like in my brain i'm just going all the games i've ever played and it's just like do 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 of like that have, like have influence from this game and it's like oh i can see why because yeah and i'm just like yeah and it all clicks and it's like mm, yes yes also if you're wondering i play a human monk <laughs> so that's the class i am right now so yeah Level 12. Just leveled up yesterday. So, yeah. Um, what am I... <laughs> Tangent! Uh, Playthroughs and streams. Alright. So, I said on here, whenever Cyberpunk's in a stable state where I can play through it without crashing, I'll play through it on the channel. So, I'm, I will probably do that after I finish Yakuza 2 because I don't want to play the first one and then go back and play y- Cyberpunk and then go back and play 2 because I don't want to like lose my place in the uh in Kaz- in Kazuya's uh story. Also also Yakuza, I like did not know what to expect from that game. It was okay. Like <laughs> I've I've heard so much about it and then I yeah, I I I think I had higher expectations. I mean, I'm I'm sure that the later games will be better, but it gets it gets it gets very interesting and weird, but also just I did not like know what the gameplay would be like and it's it's kind of rough around the edges but i think that's because it's a you know ps2 game that they remastered so i'm hoping the later entries are are just <laughs> i don't know more refined i guess not to say it was bad it was just you know just i didn't know what to expect it's very like it felt it felt like a like alternate version of shinmu is really interesting because like it's like except for like the whole like interiors and like going being able to like rummage through every single shelf <laughs> It just felt like, you know, it had Shimu vibes just because, like, you're in Japan and, like, this one, like, neighborhood and, like, all these stores and things. Um, I mean, that being said, there's, like, more combat, so I did enjoy that. Like, you know, that you can actually, there's, like, a mechanism in the game for, like, the combat and triggering it and all that stuff. As opposed to, like, Shimu is very slow and (laughs) not, yeah. That's the other thing. Not gonna get into it. But I, did, I, I will say I didn't I, I, I enjoyed it more than Shinmu because Shinmu is Shinmu is good but it's it's so slow like Yakuza is actually you know there's there's a lot going on there's a lot of cool side stuff to do if you want to do it and there's there's like yeah it's got like like <laughs> it's got RPG elements my favorite thing you just sprinkle it in you can level up and put it in a skill tree continuing on because I am totally on a tangent right now uh <laughs> Cyberpunk man. I, just, I can't stop thinking about I mean I enjoyed it personally but it's like you know it's like you, I play it and I see the potential and it's just like the fact that it kept crashing and just like it's whatever and all the videos that have, that have been made they're they're kind of they're pretty much true because it's like you know they were very over ambitious and it was hyped to the moon and it did not it did not fulfill all those promises man like there's the choice is limited like a lot of, the, a lot of their choices don't really matter it's you know, it's kind of a bummer. Like the all the epilogues, you can get to them no matter what. You know, it's not it's not like you can cut yourself. I mean, like some of them are locked behind side quests, but it's like they're not locked behind choices. So it's like kind of like it's like the choice, the choice variation and deviation in that game is very low. You can still have like different scenarios, but it's like you're not gonna, you know, like like Mass Effect Two suicide mission in bad ending. Like everybody dies, you die. There's no, like, you know, f- like, fell state built into the game in the story mode of, like, you did all the bad things and now you're effed. So it's like, eh. It's, it's, it's just really weird. Anyway. <laughs> I'm That's the other thing about Mass Effect 3, Ma- or, I can't stop thinking about it, dude. It's like, the two things in my brain right now, they're just like, I can't stop thinking about, it's like, Mass, Ma- Mass, Effect, Re- Re- Mass Effect Remaster Trilogy and um, the old Raids and Destiny 2 coming back, like, Vault of Glass, I can't wait to play again. But like, re- Mass Effect trilogy remastered. Like the reason I want that to like be be a thing again, is because well two reasons. 
and I can think of now because like, I'm thinking about it right now. But like, just be, just because I feel like it doesn't get. Okay, I don't. I shouldn't say it doesn't get enough credit, but like I feel like you know, people that weren't able to play it will play it and like be like, oh, okay, it is pretty amazing. It's pretty effing awesome. And then like you know, one of the um, that's the first reason. Second reason would be that one of the the, the uh, complaints or critiques critiques uh, I saw a lot of when uh, people were like dissing on it, at least the first one, not so much the second or third, was the uh, reused. Uh, environments for all the side quests or whatever, because it's always in like the same, like you know, it's in the same the same assets essentially for like you know whatever space place you're going to to like do the thing, land there, kill stuff, blah blah blah. But then I played Skyrim, dude, and like I mean, I, like you can't tell me that it does not have that same issue where it's like using the same crap over and over, like every flipping, well not every, but like outside of like very few like sp like specific story like you know dungeons all those effing dungeons are like just effing palette palette swaps and just like the same effing art assets and effing like every daedric realm you go into is pretty much the effing same like goo on the walls and like you know the crypts with like the flipping daedric warriors that, like, that pop out of the caskets and like effing all that crap whatever it's just like <laughs> it, it, it's like i <laughs> It, it's whatever, dude. I feel like it didn't get a, f it, or not that it didn't get a fair shake. I just feel like there's a double standard there with Bethesda games, like for so much crap, and it's just like, yeah, people crapped on Fallout seventy six, but it's like I feel like all those issues <laughs> are in like all the, I mean, outside of like the poor performance, it's well, netcode wise, because it's not a, like there were single player games before, is like still there. It's just like, oh, I'm just gonna overlook this, or I just have bad taste, and I don't, you know, know anything about good mechanics or good <laughs> good design, and I'm just like, oh, this is fun, whatever, I don't care that it's not really that great or could be so much better, or, you know, if I played Monster Hunter for, like, you know, 10 minutes and see good game design, but, uh, whatever, um, it's like, yeah, dude, like, what the F's up with that, like, just, anyway, that's just, that's just me, because I prefer the Bioware stuff, and then, like, I kind of tend to be a Bethesda hater, and after playing a couple, enough of their games, I mean, I played Skyrim, I can play, I can play some more, but, you know, Still have my Series X to play Game Pass stuff, but when I do, I am definitely going to be <laughs> going back through some of their old stuff. I downloaded Fallout 4, dude, so looking forward to that. Um, but I kind of want to play them on but whatever. I'm sure New Vegas is the best because Obsidian is like you know secretly the best. They're secretly like the A team of like all the, you know, <laughs> well the the now kind of uh, faded, you know, good good studios like you know I think. Uh, Bethesda, Bioware, maybe even, I mean, Blizzard's still good, but, you know, they, they take so long to make their games Blizzard. I mean, that's not a bad thing, it's just, uh, it's like, if you, if you know what you like, and, like, they, they don't really make those types of games, it's like, you know, people say so much about Blizzard games, but it's like, I don't really, like, Star, Starcraft, ugh, Warcraft, World of Warcraft, ugh, you know, it's like, and, like, Overwatch is mostly a multiplayer game, so I have not really bothered with it, so it's like, you know, I haven't really seen their stuff, but whatever. I'm getting into a completely different topic. Focus. Focus, Chris. All right, so yeah. <laughs> Play through some dreams. Can I just my sport series is over? Because uh, I was doing that daily. Because I was trying to win a race. I thought there was a trophy for it. But there's not a trophy as far as, like, actual trophies. There's, like, an in-game achievement system that you get a, a thing for. So I was like, oh, this is a waste of time. So I stopped. Uh, it was it was okay. I mean, it was nice going back to it. I might revisit it when um, Grand Theft Seven is like on the horizon. But you know, until then, I feel like there's no reason to really <laughs> be grinding it out in that game because I've gotten so much. I've gotten like a bunch of credits and a bunch of cars, so there's like not a lot of stuff in that game I don't have. I'm trying to like not have this light be here, but it's like I have to lean over and stuff. So okay, there we go. I can block it out with my head. Uh, yeah. So I was playing that every day for like half a month or something. I didn't make a full month of it because, well, obviously it's January. I didn't make a whole month. Um, I considered doing a daily series of Kerbal Space Program or any other game that requires a higher amount of time invested to get through it, but I like to play games in uh, large chunks at a time, like 6 to 12 hours. I might revisit the idea, though, just to, like, you know, as far as, like, YouTube, not so much Twitch, just, like, stream something every morning for, like, three hours or something because... I f yeah, because, like, I don't need to do it on Twitch because I already have, like, stuff I'm playing every day. 
and I'm like exporting that to YouTube anyway. But I feel like if I had like an actually daily series on YouTube itself, I feel like that would like maybe be good for like content and engagement and all that stuff, like all the metrics. But I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, fo like that's the thing. It's like you know, there's games I could like literally play every day. Like I could play Fall Guys every day or Destiny every day. But it's like you know, there's no in state for those. It's just you're getting crowned or Destiny. It's like getting better gear. It's not something that's like very fulfilling or satisfying so it's like with Kerbal Space Program I know that's like getting from Earth to the moon to Mars I know that's like gonna take a long time because like the first time I played it I was like dude if I play this game <laughs> this I can already see this is gonna take like tens of hours if not hundreds just to like get the mechanics down because there's a lot of there's a lot in that game going on as far as the uh, minutia of like building every every little building and structure that does something for your space program that gets you like a bit more efficiency to get your rockets a bit more better it's it's a whole thing man and i was like i want to play this game but it's i'm looking at it right now and it's a time suck and i just don't have the time so i might i might do that and then i was also thinking of um like i said earlier in the video like in like the the games in between the yakuza stuff or just like my backlog in general since i've got like so many rpgs and jrpgs it's like and i don't have the time to just like i mean i kind of do I'm just like not <laughs> using it like that. Just like go all in on like JRPGs and RPGs. I could like you know play those like for a couple hours every day and then like get through them eventually. But like I said, I just prefer to play games that like for like a very long large chunk of time, and then you know six to twelve hours, and then yeah, instead of being like oh a couple hours here, a couple hours there, that's just not how I play my games. And like I then I'll also be playing like you know one on top of the other. I'd have like an A B system going on again, where it's like I got a game I'm playing every day, but then like there's a main game, and then there's also like a game I'm playing every week. <laughs> it's just it's a lot to juggle. I mean, I feel like I could do it. It's just I don't really feel like doing it, so it's like why why even bother? But like I said, I might revisit the uh, I might revisit the idea in the future. Uh, let's see, vlogs, nothing to report. I have not. Yeah, no vlog series. Uh, or no new ones. I, I mean, besides the one I keep talking about, that I'm brainstorming. It's it's that's not really like a vlog series. It's more of like an idea I have for a podcast, and then I like kind of want to. I want it to be like its own thing, though. I just want it to be like a, like self-contained thing, like its own brand, and then like not even be a part of this channel because I already know what the channel is and its identity. So I feel like having that on like grafted onto this, would just. Not that they would like ruin it anyway, just it wouldn't be a good idea. Like if I just did that by its own standalone, I feel like that would be like the best idea. I just haven't got around to developing it, so <laughs> it's it's a brain or it's a thought in my brain, and like not really anything else. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I mean, I have some. I've ha I have had like ideas for vlogs. I've just never got around to like you know writing it down or like you know putting it like putting them in like a document like this and then being like okay I'm gonna do this or like on a regular basis blah blah blah. Like yeah, because. If you're not doing it like on a like weekly or monthly basis, it's like kind of it just falls it, like it just it just fades away. It goes like it it just yeah it's like it's kind of a waste because it's like okay well, I had this idea, I did it but then I stopped and now it's dead. So <laughs> I don't really want to just constantly building and breaking all my ideas. Uh, to to how to DIY and other stuff. Next report changes the stuff on the channel so I want to make a new channel trailer because the current one is not as accurate as it could be for the content on the channel like the one I have now is good but it's kind of out of date because I talk about like comic reviews and I've done comic reviews on a consistent basis for a while like I just said like you know there's like if you don't if you have a series that you, that you like have have but then you stop doing it it kind of dies so it's like right now like the stuff on the channel I'm doing is you know it's you know it's there but it's not it's not like accurate to like the, the current channel trailer I have so I feel like I'm probably going to be making a new one soon, or I want to be making a new one soon, because, you know, I'm going to, I mean, I am, you know, I've got a good uh, ro ro rotation of content going on, or, I don't even know, that's that's not the right word, like a good, uh, you know, it's like, it's on, a, I have a good recurring content stream going on, um, but yeah, about the previous section, I did kind of, there is something else, um, as far as like the the how-to DIY and other stuff, I just thought about it, but, like, I am, okay, here's the thing, <laughs> it's, like, it, it also ties into the current section, because I'm going into IRL stuff, okay, so, like, DIY, how-to and other stuff, and then, like, IRL stuff, so it's, like, you know, I, 
I am probably going to be in, in, in I, okay. Po- okay. Here's the thing about IRL stuff is like, I am just like under the, like I'm under the, uh, wow. I forgot what I was going to say, but I'm, I'm at the, uh, mercy of the powers that be. So it's like, you know, I would like to get all these components to build a new computer, but you know, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be, this could be like a whole thing. I'm sorry if I like go on like a complete tangent. It's at 35 minutes. I'm trying to like not rant here. Okay. All right. So yeah, IRL stuff. <laughs> in the in general, IRL sucks, but whatever. This is why it's at the end. So um, you know, I'm, I'm like at the mercy of the powers that be. So it's like you know, I would like to think or believe that you know, the <laughs> two thousand dollar stimulus isn't going to get like reduced to fourteen thousand fourteen hundred, if even that, if we even effing get it. And like you know, I've I've been looking at parts on um websites because I want to build a, a computer. Or I could end up just like ordering one, depending on like what happens. But uh, if I do end up getting the parts in, I think I'm gonna maybe do a DIY, or just like not a DIY, but like a, a video of like building it and being like, "Haha, I built it!" Because man, I haven't. Ah, my computer's so old. It's. I mean, I've been like upgrading it over time, but like, the like. The like guts of it, you know, just it's really well, not really. Cause I've, I've upgraded the motherboard like multiple times it's just in the same case which is like every time I look at it I think it's old but it's like I, I like remind myself that it's got like you know it's got newer parts in it but yeah dude like the current case is like so old it's like 2005 it's definitely before 2010 so it's like definitely over 10 years old the case anyway so but then like I don't think all the parts that are like all the parts that came with it are like probably re- well, not all the parts, but like most of the stuff's been replaced. But you know, I haven't bought like a uh, what I'm trying to get to is like I haven't got like a new 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 computer in like such a long time. So I definitely do want to do that. And if I do get like parts to like build one, I'll definitely be making a video of it. Cause I'm cause I'm either going to get like a get like the parts to make one or just like get one that's like already put together. So if I get one that's already put together, I forget I said this, but then that means I can like make better uh, videos and like Sony Vegas and stuff. So that'd be cool. Um, I just, like, finally have, like, another, or, like, a chance to do videos where it's, like, I have, like, the, the desktop as I'm, like, doing stuff and, like, doing things, since it won't be, like, you know, buckling under the, <laughs> under the weight of the computations and processes. Anyway, uh, so there's that. So, yes, that's the thing, as far as, like, any other computers, like, maybe close on the horizon, hopefully. And then also that would, like, allow me to play a lot of my stuff that's on Steam and everything. And, like, you know, have content from PC games, hopefully. That's, like, a whole other avenue that opens up if if things work out. But it's, like, you know, like I said, I'm at the mercy of powers to be. Um, that's all. It's, like, I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about it, dude. It's, like, it's, I don't want to talk about it. Ah, like, if you watch my, um, it really works. If you watch my, like, everybody's golf and, like, Fall Guys stuff. Like, like that's the other thing, dude. It's, like, my PS5, I don't know what's up with it. Like, I have the party sharing on the audio but it's like it only gets people on ps4s because every time i listen to like destiny it's like i can hear deaf but i can't hear anybody else and it's like what's up with that and then it's like when i when i when i listen to like the fall guys and the everybody's golf game nights like i only hear myself then i talk about you know all the geopolitical drama and whatnot <laughs> so if you want to hear me t- talk about that go there because i'm trying to end the video on a, on a high note not a down note but dude i'm uh, um, I have my tweet open because like every month, yeah, ba- basically it's almost like a, a year into the pandemic, which is, you know, it's it, like, at least I survived, I guess it's like, you know, it's just, it's like weird, surreal thing. But, um, pulling up my tweet, I'm like January 13th cause I've been doing this the 13th of every month. I wish I would have been vlogging or blogging this whole thing. Cause that'd have been, that'd have been a great blog. Like, did I make my, like my mic out of the CP or the? Okay, I didn't. It's, it's in. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, that'd be like a cool blog series. To like, I might do that. Like, when I go, go when I when we roll up on like the twelve month thing for this, I might just like start blogging about it. But like, it's hard to do it like when you're not doing it in real time. But it's like I want to do it where it's like you know, like a whole like twelve month later thing where it's like you know, looking back at the at what how, like how it was and then like how it is, and then because um like all the estimates are like you know, or Fauci said like what mid to late summer so i'm hoping by <laughs> september 1st 
I will at least I'll at least have like one vaccination shot unless it's the Johnson and Johnson and it's just one. Or I'm hoping that like the time in between then and now it's like, you know, someone has like a better vaccine that's just one shot, but here's hoping but like i like yeah, every every week or every month i've been like tweeting about this like like once a month because just, just like you know after i started quarantining and it's coming up on a year and then <laughs> my my january 13th tweet i have is basically you know month 10 the long wait to see what happens first this year getting vaccinated getting an xbox series x getting another stimulus check getting traumatized by a political event that couldn't just happen in 2020 because you know yeah, Biden was elected, but did it solve every, solve all the problems in the world? No. So it's like, I hope I hope everybody that was like, oh man, it's just going to be like a magical Dragon Ball Z wish. <laughs> I'm just like wishing all your bad things away. It's like, that's not, no. Hmm. It's like, oh, it's like, I'm trying to think of like, what, what's an analogy? I'm trying, oh, I can't, oh, I can't think of a good analogy right now because I don't have it thought up in advance, but like, you know, just, you know, nothing happens. And it's like, oh, we're back to normal. Or, like, you know, nothing changed. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, but, you know. That's... Uh, it's like, that's that's why it's so, like, annoying. It's just, like, you know, it's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. Cause it's like... I don't want to get super into geopolitical stuff right now, but it's like, you know... <laughs> when the party with the majority... I mean, sure, they don't have, they have, like, but that's the thing, is, like, they don't have enough votes to this to, like, pass anything, so it's just, like, nothing is going to happen, is it? It's just, like, gonna be, it's gonna be gridlock, like it, like it was, or like it has been, uh, I mean, that's the, uh, it, it's just talking about it, just thinking about it makes me angry, because it's, like, on the one hand, it's, like, yes, you could say it's gridlock, but it's, like, is it really gridlock when, like, the House is passing things, and, like, it just dies in the Senate because McConnell doesn't want to pass it or vote on it? I don't think, I, yeah, but then it's, like, okay, so the Democrats get the Senate, but they have no majority, and then it's like, oh, they need to, like, you know, be bipartisan to, like, you know, try to get these through. But it's, have you seen the people they need to unite with? <laughs> at least in the House, dude. Like, there's, at least, like, I mean, at least in the Senate, there's not, like, a lot of, you know, woo, out there people. But, man, some of the, some of the stuff, the, the, Republic, the Republican Congress people in the House, man, just, yeah. <laughs> Extreme. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, it's like, I, I I'm, yeah. At least, yeah. At least the, the the last administration is over. But like, you know, beyond that, it's like, ugh, just, just, it's just gonna be like stuck like this for who knows how long. Like, it's super frustrating. And it's just like, yep, could be better, but it could. I, I mean, it's like the thing is, like, could better, could be worse. But it's like, I mean, it's also like ultimately it's better than it was. But it's like by how much, you know? It's like, ugh, and then. I mean, at least there's, like, the whole reconciliation thing, but then, like, I saw something where it's, like, because of the uh, unemployment benefits, like, expiring in March or something, it's, like, not, nothing is going to happen until then, so I'm, like, oh, and, like, worst case scenario is, like, I have to wait until March, but it's, like, you know, I just, I just want my gaming PC. I mean, it's, like, I don't just want my gaming PC, but it's, like, it's, uh, it's like, that's, like, the low bar. It's, like, gaming PC, but it's, like, you know, there's all these other things that could happen where it's, like, why isn't this happening, but I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to super bum myself out because it's like what's even the point right but yeah at least i'm not dead haha ah, that was wow that was I, yep couldn't help it that just came out that was a little bar crust that was that was bad okay anyway <laughs> to, to being alive oh yeah it's in the podcast on that note um yeah uh i just remembered something i, I wanted to talk about a couple of te- with tekens ago i just it just popped in my mind i'm just gonna say it but like i did also want to do like a vlog series of like just talking about like not gaming stuff where it's like not not it's not even like political crap it's just like you know like i'll watch something on netflix and be like oh that was awesome i want to talk about it but then like proceed to like not really talk about it because <laughs> i never because yeah since none of my podcasts are currently you know on uh or they're all on break or hiatus or whatever you want to say um you know i have no i have no way to like air these things or just like you know get this out and it's like i was, I was like in my brain i thought of like you know a a like you know a, a, a fandom the vlog type of thing on my channel where I just like talk about stuff that I like you know it's like I saw like I watched Ultra Carbon I really like it I just like would really like to talk about it for like an hour <laughs> or just have like a, or just like you know I watch a lot of um I guess like, not a lot but I've seen some like video essays on certain channels that are like an hour to 90 minutes and I'm like you know I could try to do that but it's like I probably wouldn't so I, I should just do what I do best which is just like 
bleh. just like you know stream of consciousness verbal diarrhea and uh <laughs> i don't know if I, I can't just like not make fun of myself but you know just like go on and on about something for like an hour and just have it be like one topic and just be like okay i'm gonna do this because I, I, I feel like i could do that and just like you know like you know ultra carbon cyberpunk in general ghost in the show like all that like when yeah like the like cyberpunk like when, before it was coming out I was, just, I was like so excited and just like you know my brain was just like thinking about like all these things and just like you know i feel like that would be something fun to do but it's not something that's like on my list because like i said like when i talked about my channel trailer it's just like not really in the vein of like anything on the channel right now so i guess maybe if i put up a new channel trailer and i get like one of those up i could start doing that stuff i mean i don't know it's just it's i <sighs> There's such like there's such like a you know a uh, like abstract ethereal property of like anything pop culture. I don't really feel like taught like I wanting to like have anything like it on my channel. But then it's like it's easy content, so it's like oh, that's whatever, dude. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's it for this video. I'm 40, 46 minutes. Awesome. Whatever. Some yeah. Some of these go long. I actually just watched all my um game of the year videos because i was like going back to watch them and then put in like the the games that one so i had to like rewatch them to like you know what to put on the thing in the in the descriptions and i have like one that's an hour long i haven't watched it or rewatched yet but it was funny because i watched the one with like the year horizons year dawn came out and i was like when i was talking i was like okay i'm not gonna talk about this game for a long time and i proceeded to like talk for like 20 minutes or something and just like gush all over it and i was like yeah see it's actually fun to like go back and watch those because it's like i i love that game and like watching myself <laughs> talk about how much I love it, it reminds me of like why I love it, and it's like it makes me want to play it. And th that, that's the bad part is like I want to play it now, but it's like I'm playing all these other games. So that was that's like another thing I think of like doing is like you know, as like a series or something, on the channel as far as like playthroughs and blah 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 is like going back to like the games I just love and just like playing them, but like also doing commentary because I usually don't do commentary on single player stuff when I'm playing it. So. If I did that, that would be fun. Maybe. But, um, <laughs> random thought, as I can't effing sign off because I keep thinking about things. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not going to end the vlog, so, you know. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends or not. That's cool, too. Apparently, there's a bell you're supposed to ring. I never ring the bell. I'm just saying, that's just me. But, uh, do that, too. And until you see or hear from me again, thanks for watching. I'm now signing off. And, uh, wear a mask and social distance and all that stuff to help help defeat COVID. <laughs>